What if I told you there was an easy way to get 250 subscribers for your YouTube channel in less than two months? To some people, this may not sound like a big accomplishment, but if you're a small YouTube channel, 250 subscribers may seem insurmountable or seem like it's gonna take a long time. Before I started following these steps, it was taking me almost a year to get 250 subscribers. My YouTube channel is almost 10 years old. I put up my first video in 2014, but it wasn't until mid to late last year that I started uploading consistently. I've gotten quite a few views and watch hours. I'm actually very close to the 4,000 watch hour requirement, but I've always struggled getting subscribers. On July 3rd of this year, I hit 400 subscribers. That may not sound like a lot to some people, but it was to me. I wanted to celebrate this milestone. I went to a Discord server where I collaborate with other creators. I mentioned that I had just hit 400 subscribers and, you know, that I was always lagging behind with subscribers compared to watch hours. One of the members mentioned that if you're just wanting to get subscribers, I've got a method that you can use. And it's all about using YouTube Shorts. Now, I had tried using YouTube Shorts before. I tried to do it every day for 15 days and for 30 days. And I would hit every once in a while and get maybe a thousand views on a short, maybe a subscriber or two, but it was never consistent. And it definitely wasn't something that was going to really help me grow my channel. This creator had a few keys to follow when he was talking about using YouTube Shorts. I took his advice and changed it a little bit to work for my channel. I'm going to share with you the keys and the steps. Now to me, the most important step is the last one. I bet you didn't see that one coming. So stick around and make sure you watch until the end. If you follow each and every one of these steps, hopefully you'll have the same success I have. The first key, shorts should be remixes of your long form content. Now, it needs to be an actual remix, not just using clips from your long form video. So you need to go hit the remix button as you're watching one of your long form videos to create the short. Now, this is only available currently on the mobile device apps. It's not available on the PC itself. Now, I'm thinking about doing a video walking through each and every step of this process to show you how I create the YouTube short remixes. If you're interested in that video, please leave a comment and let me know, and I'll gauge the interest to decide if I want to go to the trouble of making the video. Now, why does this work? Not 100% sure, but it really feels like YouTube is trying to make an integration between long-form content and shorts. And this is an easy way to do it. And note, YouTube has added a field in shorts that's called Related To. And I would go ahead and fill that out and go ahead and link that to your long-form video so that users can easily find your long-form video if they're interested. Step number two, keep the video short. You want your videos to get viewed as fully as possible. And if you keep it really short, you may actually get users watching it multiple times, which will really help the algorithm to boost it. As you watch your long form video, try to find a 10 to 30 second clip that seems to stand alone by itself. Say if you've got a 10 minute video on building a fence, you may find a 15 second clip where you're digging a hole for a post. And if you're able to get it where the audio starts and stops with a full sentence, that's even better. Cutting off mid-sentence, or even worse, mid-word, is not a very good video. Since you're only picking out a few seconds here and there of a long-form video, you might be able to get many different shorts from one long-form video. Step number three, try to release a short every single day. For me, mid-morning seems to work best. Sometimes the algorithm immediately releases the video or starts pushing it when I release it. Sometimes the algorithm waits for a few hours, sometimes six hours to be exact. And sometimes the algorithm never pushes it. But don't get discouraged. Keep releasing every day. That's what I do during the week. On the weekends, I try to release four to six videos a day because I really get better results on the weekend. Step four. Use ChatGPT to come up with your title, description, and tags. And to be honest, I don't always like some of the options it comes up with, but I use them anyway. Because remember, the description and title are not really used by users to pick the videos. It's used by the algorithm to decide which users to push shorts to. 
you typically don't pick a short to watch because of the title. You're just scrolling through and see it, and that's what you that's what you watch. Well, you're only going to see it if the algorithm decides to push it to you. Key number five, and this is likely the most important key of all of them. But before I get to that, if you've watched the video this far, you must be finding something of value. Please take a second and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It'll really help me out and I can keep making content like this. Number five, the most important key is to make sure when you create your short, you go uncheck the publish to subscribers checkbox. It is owned by default, but you want to uncheck it. You don't want to overwhelm your existing subscribers with notifications about your daily shorts. I'm always afraid that I'm going to irritate my existing subscribers and they'll either unsubscribe from my channel or turn off notifications. And that's not the goal of this. The goal is to add subscribers. Now, this option can only be modified on a computer workstation. I don't see a way to do it through the mobile app. So when I create a short, I use the mobile app because I want to use the remix option. Then I upload it to YouTube as private. Then I modify the settings on my computer. So you've heard these keys and they may sound like a great way to add subscribers, but there are a few downsides. Let's talk about that as real quick. Number one, the view hours you get from shorts do not count towards monetization. So you only end up getting these subscribers using this method. You're not gaining watch hours. So just remember, if you don't have much of either, this may not be the correct time for you to start using this short remix method. Number two, the subscribers you gain from shorts may not be the best subscribers for long-term growth of your channel. Especially if your channel is only going to be mostly long-form content, they're not going to be the people that would watch that long-form content. But they may be able to be used just to get you monetized. Then you would start growing your channel the other way. Number three, if you're really new, you may not have a lot of long-form content. It's hard to remix long-form content if you don't have any. So you may need to wait a little while to get some long-form videos released. Then you can turn around and start releasing short remixes. Hopefully this is enough detail to get you started down the road of using YouTube short remixes to grow your channel and add subscribers. Again, I'm thinking about making a video showing step-by-step -step the process I use to create, upload, edit, and publish the video shorts. If you'd like to see that, please leave a comment so I can gauge the interest. If you try this method to gain subscribers, I would love to hear about it. Please leave a comment telling me how you tried it, how long you've been doing it, and how many subscribers you've gained. I would love to see how this works for everyone else. Thank you guys for listening. Y'all have a great day.